Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome sometimes wonder, I wonder, consider all when I look at the world, the you have made.
started with the homegoing service of our brother, Brother Williams. At this time, we're going to turn the service on to Brother Luke Miles, the minister of the Far West Church of Christ, and he's going to lead us through this service this morning. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, praise the Lord, saints. This is a homegoing celebration. And we have come to remember the life, the legacy, and the love for Christ that our dear brother Lloyd Williams exhibited during his entire lifetime that I've known him. And I'm just so thankful that many of you have come out to celebrate his life and we're going to have a wonderful uh, homegoing ceremony. I am serving as the MC. I'm Luke Miles Sr., minister to the Far West Congregation on the west side of Chicago. And we have a program set in order and we'll be following this program uh, as best we can. We want to keep things timely and we want to make sure that we are respecting the family. Amen. Uh, we want to make them feel as comfortable as possible uh, during these times. We, uh, we have come to this outer corridor of eternity here today. And this is as far as we can go with Brother Lloyd. Yeah. But we know that he has lived a life that helps us to be assured that there is another place somewhere beyond the starry sky. And that's what we want to look at this morning. He has gone to get his reward. And we are going to celebrate his life in that manner. We have a young man who's going to come and bless us with a song at this time. Uh, who is none other than uh, Brother Dominique Lemon. We'll have read into our hearings the Old and New Testament by Minister Eddie Jones, and then we will have acknowledge acknowledgments by Sister Ann Butler. At that point, I will come back and give you further information. Amen. 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 When we reach that city of the new Jerusalem, we get to sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah by and by. And all the ransom singers will together lift that hymn. Yes, we'll sing. We get to sing hallelujah. Oh, I tell you that, oh, what joy. Oh, what joy when we get, we're going to rest, we're going to rest beneath that cloudless storm. We're going in, in that land where saints never, Lord, we get to sing hallelujah, hallelujah by, oh, I tell you that fit. And love will be our everlasting thing, Lord. 
Lord will sing. We get to sing hallelujah by and don't you know he'll be praising uh, his redeemer there beside the crystal stream. Lord will sing. We get to sing hallelujah. Yes, I know that oh what joy, oh what joy when we we're all gonna go that way, we're gonna rest, or uh, oh, we're gonna rest beneath that, that old storm over in, uh, we're going to a land where sin, we all gotta go this way, you know, we're gonna sing, uh, we're gonna shout when we make it over, yes, I know that old it's gonna be joy, yes, when we, we may have to weep right now, but one day we're gonna rest, uh, we're gonna see his face in that cloudless, that old storm, and uh, we're going to a land where saints, uh, yes, I know we'll sing, we're gonna sing hallelujah by and by our old and new testament scriptures this morning will come from Isaiah chapter 25, verses 6 through 9, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 4, 14 through 17. Isaiah chapter 25, verses 6 through 9. And the Bible says, And in this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines, and on, on the leaves of fat things, full and moral, of well-refined wines on these leaves, and he will destroy on the mountain the surface of the covering cast over all the people, and the veil that is spread it over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Getting into verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means proceed those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will decide or descend from heaven with the shout, or with the voice of the archangels, and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Good morning, church. Good morning. In Christian sympathy, resolution of respect, in loving memory of Brother Lloyd Williams, we extend our most sincere and heartfelt condolences to the immediate members, extended members of the Williams family, friends, co-workers, and neighbors. Although no words can really help 
ease the loss you bear. You know you are in thoughts and prayers. Our hearts still ache in sadness and sincere tears still flow. What it means to lose Brother Lord, no one will ever know. Whereas Brother Lord Williams, days among us were too brief and our grief at his passing is never ending. We draw comfort from the belief that he has found safe refuge in the Lord where no darkness or pain can touch him now. Whereas Brother Lloyd Williams was a faithful and active member of the Chicago Heights Church of Christ, he freely gave of his time and yeah. talents, teaching Bible classes, yeah. preaching the gospel, and singing. Whereas Brother Lloyd Williams dedicated to his family, kindness to his church members, friends, and co-workers shall ever be a living memorial. Therefore, be encouraged by this scripture. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21 and four. Humbly and lovingly submitted on the eighth day of August in the year of our Lord 2020 on behalf of ministers and members of the Chicago Heights Church of Christ, Chicago Heights, Illinois, Brother James G. Sinkins, Jenkins Sr. member, senior minister, Brother Kevin A. Bowles the first assistant minister, and Brother Fred Merriweather's Minister Emeritus. I have several other resolutions from different congregations, but I won't be able to read them all because time won't permit. Resolution of respect for the family of Lloyd Williams from the 87th Street Church of Christ, 1935 West 87th Street, Chicago Heights, Illinois. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 4. We have another resolution from Sister Justina Giggins from the 87th Street Congregation, thinking of you during your time of grief. And we have another resolution from um, Brother Evangelist John and Sister Doris Thomas. Um, Sister Vicki, and children to the family, to the entire family and church family of Brother Lloyd Williams. We also would like to thank everyone for their cards, phone calls, prayers, or whatever you did for the family of Brother Lloyd Williams. And all the cards and everything will be acknowledged at a later date. Thank you. Amen, amen. We're going to be favored with a hymn at this time, a solo by Sister Deborah Walker. And then we will, uh, we will have our obituary reading by Sister Hazel Jenkins. And then I'll be back after that. I met Lloyd in 1980. Gerald and I used to pick him up, and Sister Lovey Brown, and we used to go to choir rehearsal every Friday. And Lloyd lived about three minutes from our house. And that's how I met him. And then last year, we decided to celebrate the United Chorus 50th musical celebration and honor my father. And even though Lloyd was ill, he came and joined the choir to honor my daddy. That's the kind of man he was. I want to thank the family for sharing Lloyd with us. Yeah. Savior, lead me lest 
I stray <coughs> Gently lead me All the way Cause I am safe When birds are sad And I would in that love abide Oh, blessed Savior Lead me, Jesus, lead me, Savior, lead me, Lord, don't let me stray, gently, gently down. Down this perilous time, Lord, lead me safe. Take me all, take me all the way. Mm, Jesus, comfort them. Will you hold them, Jesus? Father, will you show me the way? Savior, lead me. Sometimes I get lost, Jesus, and I don't want to stray. Keep me gently, gently down, down. Sometimes my heart feels broken, Lord. Savior, I'm begging you, Jesus. I can't make it by myself, Lord. Savior, lead me. Can't nobody do it but you, Jesus. Lord, help me lest I stray. Gently down, down, down. The stream, the stream of time. Oh, precious Savior, just take your servant. Will you take me all the way? Lead me, Jesus. Lead me, Savior. Lord, take me all. When death takes its toll, Lord, lead me. Rock me in your bosom, Lord, and take your servant all the way. Lead me, Jesus. Will you lead me? Keep me safe in your arms all the way. Lead me, Trust nobody else but you, Jesus. I can't make it by myself, Lord. I've tried it, but I need you. Hold me, keep me, Lord. Don't let me stray.
virus, Lord. Through the terrible virus, Lord. Will you help me stay on my path? Celebrating the life of Lloyd Williams. His glory. Lord, Lloyd Williams was born March 8, 1965 in Greenville, Mississippi to Thelma Williams. He accepted Christ at an early age. Lloyd attended Chicago Heights Church of Christ. Lloyd graduated from Eisenhower High School. Soon after high school, he met his lovely wife, Vicki. They were married soon after. There were four children born, Javon Williams, Nalisha, Pamela Williams, Maurice, Glenn Williams, Sabrina Williams, Scott. He went to work for Calstion Incorporated for 24 years. Lloyd took pride in what he did. Lloyd was very loving, caring, wonderful spirit, and a God-fearing man. Yes, sir. He enjoyed listening to religious music. Yes. Now he has went home to be with the Lord. Yes. Now he is with his mother, Mrs. Thelma Williams, yes. brother, yes. Eugene Collins, yes. AKA Bobby, brother, Terry Collins, Brother Charlie Williams, Brother Benjamin, Sister Shirley Jones, another sister, nephew Daniel Williams. Lloyd is survived by Isaac, Johnny, Gloria, Linda, Ernest, Mary, yeah. Junior, and Betty, grandkids Imani, Ilani, Mariah, Mandia, Marissa, mm -hmm. Makayla, LJ, Maya, and Maxwell. A host of cousins, nieces, and nephews, a special brother-in-law, Jerome Mabry. Yes, yes. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh, I done just about got happy up in here. Uh, she is one of my favorite singers, period. Uh, and what a blessing it is to be reassured that if anybody can lead you, God can lead you. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some lonely nights, but when I look around. I won't complain And when my head hangs low 
I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But God knows. Me. More than my weary eyes can see, I just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can y'all help me say, Lord, I won't come. Oh, 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 Lord, Lord, I won't come. Oh, Lord, about four more times. I want, Lord, I want Through all the pain and tears I wave my hand And say, thank you, Jesus You brought A mighty long way. Bless me with a family, Lord. Kin and friends and I. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. One more time. Lord. Oh, come, come. going to have words of comfort right now from the ministry emeritus of this very fine congregation and none other than Fred Merriweather Sr. And then following Brother Merriweather, Brother Gerald Walker will have words of comfort as well. Uh, we have been instructed during the remark period to have at least five to come for the sake of time uh, and to Please stay within the two minute frame, Brother Mayor Willie. First, give an honor to God, to my minister, to all the other ministers who are here, full of ministers, to the family and friends. I got kind of old now. I don't know if my memory is that good. This you may have to help me. But I think I married Vicky and Lloyd. And they were my, my son and daughter. Amen. And so this is a special occasion for all of us. Because all of us here are family. Yes, Amen. Yes. And all of us got an appointment. Amen. According to Hebrews 9 and 27. It is when the man wants to die, but after death is the judgment. We might be late for everything else. <laughs> but I guarantee you, you won't be late for this. So I want to say to you, Vicky, first, and then I want to talk to the children, that I love you, and I don't know how it feels to lose a mate. I have not been in that 
shoes. But I do know that you got a loving family here. In Psalms 30, if my memory serves me correctly, and I believe about verse 5, the scripture says, His anger may endure for a moment, but in his favor is life. Crime may, may, may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Now, what that means is weeping. That's, I couldn't think of it. Weeping. What that means is not that the night you're going to cry and in the morning it's going to be all right. What that do mean is that God is able through your situation, through your trials, to give you strength to endure. That's what that means. Javon, I love you. Pamela, Glenn, I love all of y'all. And I can tell you that I lost my dad. And my dad, just like your dad, was a man of God. He was a great man of God. He had principles. One of the things that he instilled in me was that if your word is no good, your, your bond is no good. If your word is your bond, I, I got it. I, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. And so then, I need to tell you something. I didn't want my father to go. When I was down there with my mama, visited him in the BA hospital on the west side of Chicago, and I was shaving him and everything, and he said to me, Fred, I'm tired. And I said, oh, daddy. I didn't want to hear that. I didn't. But now that I think about it, I wish that was something that I could to do over. Y'all ever had one of those times when you thought you'd like to do it over, get, get a second chance at that? I would have told him, Daddy, go on. Go on home. Because it, in pain, it is a fact. Last but not least, when you borrow something mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. your neighbor, yeah. oh, tell like a lawnmower, <laughs> hey man, it could be a hedge trimmer, yeah. Yeah. you have to give it back. Yes, hey man, say it now. Uh -huh. Hey man. Yeah. God lent us, Lord, yeah. for a while. He lent my daddy to me for a while. And I, I had to give him back. I didn't want to, but I had to. And I stop by to tell you that God does not make any mistakes. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to bring all of us together. So yes, we can may endure for a night but joy will come in the morning. And if you keep your hand in God's hand, yeah. he'll see you through. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Love every one of you. Amen. Amen. You know, when Norris asked me to have some words of comfort, I began to formulate some thoughts. And I'm sure each and every one of you in here could just go on and on about 
the impact that Lloyd made uh, with his presence. And while this, his passing may have surprised us, it didn't surprise God. God knew long before the earth was made, this day was coming. And by him being the God that I know he is, he prepared something for us. Paul writes to the Romans that the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. But this part I don't think people pay much attention to in that verse. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Our comfort comes from the scriptures. In 1 Thessalonians 4, Brother Jones read it today. Verse 18 says, wherefore comfort one another. Amen. With these words. Yeah. I've been going to funerals all my life. I've done more than I care to even think of. Amen. I've heard some eloquent speakers. Yeah. I've heard some genuine wordsmiths yeah. that could have you standing on your feet. Yeah. But I have not heard anybody that could say it like God said it. Yeah, well. And so for words of comfort, I give you the word of God. You already know him. You've heard him at every funeral you've attended. But that's where our comfort comes from God's word. Revelation 14, 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Right, saying unto me, Right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Psalms 116, 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. 2 Corinthians 5 and 8. We're confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. And who can forget Psalm 23? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Ecclesiastes 3. Yeah. To everything there is a season everything. And a time to every purpose under heaven A time to be born A time to die A time to plant And a time to pluck up That which is planted On and on God gives us Comfort from the scriptures Our hearts go out to this family to this church we know that you're in a painful situation but God did not leave us without help and another thing that God did as I go to my seat uh, God gifted us with gifted people I have a tremendous appreciation for songwriters because they can take what I'm feeling and put it in a phrase and put it to a melody that I could sing over and over and over. I could never do that. I always always took my hat to songwriters. And, and, and somewhere I, I read a song. We sang a song. and you, you, you know it well. Here I labor and toil as I look for a home. Just a humble abode among men. While in heaven, a mansion is waiting for me. And a gentle voice pleading, come in. There's a mansion now empty, just waiting for me. At the end of life's troublesome way. 
And I know that my Savior will welcome me then near the door of that mansion someday. And then the last verse is, is, is my favorite. The writer says, when my labor and toiling have ended below, and my hands shall lie folded in rest, I'll exchange this old home for a mansion up there and invite the archangels as guests. Take your comfort from God's word. We're praying for you. Our hearts go out to you. We're hurting as well, but God saw it coming, yeah. and God left us comfort in his word. God bless you. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to sing just a little bit of song here. My Lord, don't move this mountain, but give me the strength to climb. And Lord, don't take away my stumbling mouth. Now when my folks were slaves These things that they would try to do But every time I turn my back They just can't difficult but at the same time I'm, I'm so glad that God shared this man of God with us Amen. and we got we got to realize like like the pastor said that Lloyd didn't belong to us yeah. he belonged to God and he was sent here to enrich this earth so my, my prayers go out to the family um, I wish it was under other circumstances but it's not I see his kids, and I remember when they were so young running around here. Now I see grown men and grown women. So his seed has been passed on. Yeah. And Lloyd will never, ever, ever be forgotten. Amen. First of all, he was a man of God. He was, when I saw him, I saw, and I'm not going to preach, but when I saw him, he was like an ambassador. He carried the word everywhere. Yeah. He knew those scriptures. He was very kind. He was a, a good host. When people came in here, and he was very int integral to this congregation. Amen. So we've been blessed, man. And, 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 and when, I, when I see his shell, because that's his shell, y'all. It just houses soul. But when I saw his face, that's the face I always will remember because he was so he was so caring and so easygoing. He always always had a smile yeah. on his face. And, and and I told somebody this earlier. Lloyd is the first person I ever met 
that made worship seem like it was fun, man. I'm telling you, man. He, I mean, he was still a serious person, but he would just man, had so much fun and so much memories I have at this congregation, man. And they, they will never leave my soul, man. Praise God. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lord Sister Mary. It's kind of hard for me. Oh, okay. I'm short on, on me, though. I got you. Anyway, it's kind of hard for me because that's my brother, and I loved him so because he was there for me. And I thank God that when he needed me, I was there for him. He's a brother I can call on anytime. He would call, I would call him. I was down and out for a minute. And I would call him, I said, hey, Brother Lloyd, this Sister Mary. He said, hey, I'm hurting too, I need you, please. But he would always come through for me, he was there. Everywhere I move, because I move like the like Egyptian, like Egyptian, Egyptian, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> then he would cut my grass. He even taught me how to cut grass. Yeah. He he was there to cut my grass. He the one that moved me in every place that I'm, I'm in today. He would he would come by the house and have dinner with me. I would just cook sometimes, just to invite him and Jerome over. The, the E, because uh, it's just me, him and my brother Ivan and, and Lord. But he, our brother, we all loved him, but God loved him more. He had peace. I'm going to miss him. He up there with Mama and my son and my brother and my older sister. They looking down on us now. And telling us we better get our life together. Yeah. Turn it over to God. Give Him all your trouble. And we need to start calling each other. Not on this occasion. We need to be with friends and family and let them know we love them. I'm getting to know God, which I thank Him, which He is ahead of my life. I thank God that He gave me strength every morning to get in His Word. And praise and send out prayers, and I love it and I thank them. I love you guys. It's time for us to come together. All right, this is not, not this, not at this occasion, but we need to call each other. Pick up the phone. We can see each other. If we don't be with each other, we can see each other. Call each other. So, Lord, you at peace. I love you. I'm surely going to miss you. I'm truly going to miss my brother because he was there for me at all times. Family, I love you guys. Y'all have a peace and blessed today. Praise God. Yes. Like she say, we got to meet that master up there one day. Yes, sir. But I remember Lord used to come over to my house. He'll call me sometime. He said, what you cook, mother-in-law? I said, I got some beans and greens. Amen. Amen. But he never always had a smile on his face. Yes, he did. He would get on my back, too, sometimes, too. Oh, yeah. But one thing I can say, my daughter over there, Amen. his kids, he raised a very good family. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he's going home to be with the Lord. But I can say one doggone thing, we got to meet that master up there Amen. one day. So Vicki, you got to be strong. Harry, you got to be strong. You know what he will want? He wants you. The rejoice. Yes, he going home. Amen. Yeah, he there already. He's there. That's what he'll want. Yes, yes. 
So I'm just saying, keep the strength, ask God to give you the strength, and he will. Yes. He will give you the strength. This will be our final uh, remark, my girl, at this time. Mm -hmm. so, okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. It's all right. Thank you. Lloyd was a very good brother-in-law. He was the best man at my wedding. Awesome, awesome man to our family. Awesome. And he's going to be very much missed. Yes, he is. And I pray that there are so many, so many men out there like him. I know my, my nephews and my sons are like him. So I just want to say to my sister and my family and friends, we love you all. Stand behind one another. Yes. Lloyd will be missed. Thank you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I want to thank each and every one of you for your wonderful comments and remarks and for being timely in your presentation. Uh, we're going to call Brother Bowles up at this time, and he has a special presentation that he's going to make, uh, after which we will uh, get ready for a word from the word. Amen? Amen. Anybody need a word this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. At this time, we're going to ask uh, one of the directors to please come and turn this uh, back on for a minute uh, for we can watch uh, a, a brief video. While they are coming, I just want to say that everything in this building around here, Lloyd did it himself. He did it. Can't nobody else take the credit but him. These signs, all we have to do is say, Lloyd, we need this. I got it. One funny note, while they coming, just trying to get them time to get this together. I bought a lawnmower. And you know, Lloyd is the one that was cutting the church grass. So I said, I want to try this lawnmower out. And I said, man, I got a new lawnmower. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the grass this week. He said, OK, bro, ball's cool. Fine, that's fine. But I took too long for him. I said, Lloyd, I told you I was going to cut the grass. He go, well, you took too long, bro. How long is this supposed to wait? He did not play when it came to get the work done. And even when he got sick, he still was trying to work. I, I snuck up at the house one time, and he was out there picking up sticks. I'm like, are you supposed to be doing that? Well, I got to do something. That's just the way he was. And he's definitely going to be missed. Are you ready? I'm going to go and hit the light up here in one second.
And something about prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. We take about 15 to maybe 20 or 10 minutes just to pray to the Lord. Yeah. Hey, amen. It just brightens things up. It just brightens the situation up. Hey, amen. You come out and probably burn it or something. But when you go to God in prayer, it cannot light that load a little bit. Yeah. Hey, amen. Uh, our next song. We'll try to thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 It's not always the big thing that we thank God for. Sometimes it's the little thing. When you go inside of a gas system, you may be coming out of a gas system, you got a bag in your hand, somebody just open the door for you. You just make it easy on you. You just get a thing for us. Amen. God's good. God's good all the time. He wants us to give him thanks and praise for what he has done, for what he is doing. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
time I would sit and listen to him sing, I would just see a joy Amen. for serving the Lord. And, and, and Lord is truly going to be missed. Uh, but he did not leave us empty. He did not leave us without life. And that's, that's the important thing about living life. You got to be able to spread seeds as you live so that your legacy can live after you're gone. I want to thank this family for allowing me this opportunity to serve you in this capacity and know that we are in continued prayers on your behalf. If there's anything we can do for you, you be sure to let us know. Uh, to this great congregation, Chicago Heights, we're praying for you as well. Uh, and we know that God is going to hold you up during these times. But before I call on the great minister of this congregation I just want to ask you to help me to do a favor for sister uh, Williams if, if you all could just stand and let's give Lloyd a, a standing ovation a round of applause for the life that he lived and for the labor that he shared Thank you so very much. Uh, we are going to be blessed with a word from the word at this time. Uh, I want to ask you for your undivided attention. Please make sure that you are paying attention because most of the time when we come to services like this, most people think it's all about Lord. It is a celebration of his life. But during this time, this is all about you. Amen. The Lord found his way. Yeah. He knew where he was going. He knew what he was doing. And so now this time is to help you to follow the path that Lord traveled. Yeah. And so we want you to give an attentive ear to uh, Brother Jenkins as he's come and he's going to eulogize our dear brother. God bless you and thank you for thank allowing you. me to serve. And we know that all things work together for the good, for the good of them that love God. To them who are the call according to his purpose. Vicki? We've never been this way before. Or we have never been in this situation before. 
But now, since we are here, we have to remember what was, what is right now, and what shall be. Yes, sir. Chicago Heights usually greet each other with this. Beloved. That was Brother Lloyd's favorite greeting. As you know, Brother Lloyd was the most outgoing individual I've ever known. And now I understand why God sent us this way. Because we've never been this way before. There's a song that we all love to sing. Brother Lloyd always loved singing. One of the songs were, you ought to, you ought to take the Lord with you. And there are a lot of things we ought to do, but you know, we just don't do them. Any. He said, we ought to take the Lord with us everywhere we go. And if you can't take the Lord with you, you shouldn't go. Then there's another song. Today I was going to talk to you about songs in the key of life. Preacher. Mm. Uh, but Brother Lloyd deserves much more than that. But what I want you to do is get your song books and turn to that song. You know what it is. Get your song books. And we're going to try to sing that. Uh, for us who are visiting, it's 235. 235. And Brother Lloyd said those words there is for you, me, and everybody that's listening. Because the words are there and we should listen attentively to the words. And once we learn to do what the words of this song said do, well, we're well on our way to doing those things that will please God. 235, let's try it. If the world from you withhold all this silver and its gold, and you have to get along with me, good fair, just remember in his word how he feeds the little bird. So take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Just leave them there, leave them there. Take your burden to the Lord. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. If your body suffers pain and your health you can't regain and your soul is almost sinking in despair. Uh, Jesus knows the pain you feel. He can save and he can heal. So take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. Oh, just leave them there. Go oh, leave them there. Take your burden and leave them there. If you trust and never he will surely bring you out. So take your burden to the Lord and leave him there. Or when your enemy sell and your heart begins to fail, uh, don't forget that a God in heaven has a prayer. Uh, he will wait for you. He will say safely through. Uh, so take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. 
So take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. Now when your youthful days are gone and old age is still on and your body been beneath the weight of care, uh, he will never leave you then. He'll go with you to the end. So take your burden to the Lord and leave him there. Just leave him there. Go on and leave him there. And I take your burden to the Lord and leave him there. So take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Just leave them there. Go on and leave them there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. If you trust and ever he will surely bring you out so take your burden to the Lord and leave them there Amen. Amen. the God of heaven has smiled on all of us I said, the God of heaven has smiled on all of us yes. simply because we knew a Lloyd William. Yes. When I first met Brother Lloyd, I asked him, how do you spell your, spell your name, your first name? Is it L-O-R-D or L-L-O-Y-D? <laughs> Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. Uh, and and uh, my brother Lloyd just said, no, I ain't him. Ain't that? Ain't, I, I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> and uh, he said, Lloyd is my name. And ever since then, there's something about Lloyd that I've never seen in another man. When things needed to get done, he didn't have to come and ask me or ask anybody. He just did it. Brother Lloyd was an example to follow. As a matter of fact, Brother Lord always said that we as Christians, we are what they call a living epistle. Because the world watches our lifestyle. Not so much what we say, but what we do. And Brother Lord believed in doing the Lord's will. As I looked into God's word, there are several things I could say, not for Brother Lord, but for you. And when I look at this great celebration, and we all should be happy because Brother Lord is a part of your life. Just think, what would your life have been like if Brother Lord had never been a part of your life? Just think, if there was a blank void spot in your life, there would be no Pamela, mm -hmm. no grandkids, mm -hmm. no vacations, no Javon. It would be a void in all of our lives. But you know what? The scripture says, we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. And I believe that Lord loved God. And he loved all of his sisters and brothers and children. You know he did. Because he's always wanted the best 
Whenever he was enjoying, he wanted to share it with you. And especially it was to be, he still loved you. In the book of Ecclesiastes that was said earlier, to everything there is a season, a time and to every purpose under the sun. The word is purpose. But the Lord was put here, just like you and I, for a purpose. And when we serve our purpose, when we find our purpose and we serve our purpose, then God says, well, well done, like he told Brother Lloyd. You see, you see, there isn't anyone here in this house that's not put here on this earth for a purpose. In other words, you're not here just taking up space. And what I want to encourage each and every one of you that not in the Lord's church, the church of Christ. And Brother Lord was saying this song, get right, church. Get right, family. Get right, children. Get right, friends and neighbors. Because someday we're going to have to leave here. The other song said, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. He knew, he knew that his treasure was laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Amen. There's another song that sometimes we would sing off and on, I'm sending up my timber. Yes. I know Brother Lord got enough timber now to build that little cabin in the corner of Glory Land. Yes. Yes. He's been sending up timber for quite a while now. Yes. Yes. And the things that he has done here uh, will never be forgotten. Amen. God had a special assignment for Brother Lord yes. and he has successfully completed the assignment. In other words, Paul would say uh, he has fought the good fight. Yeah. And he has kept the faith. Yes, sir. And he has finished the course. Yeah. And now he will, now he will receive that crown yeah. of life. Yes, sir. That the Lord giveth. Yeah. Not to him only, but to all those that love his appearance. Yes, sir. And there's a song for that. <laughs> It says, the crown. You heard that song about the crown? Mm -hmm. I shall wear a crown. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We shall wear a crown. Yes, when the trumpet sound. Yes, sir. I shall wear a golden crown. That's what Lord was working toward. I want to encourage you. Maybe you've fallen away from the church. You need to rededicate your life to Christ. Amen. It's never too late. As long as you are on this side of life. Yes. You have time to correct those things that you faulted on. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that there's a time and a purpose. And when we look at all of the time that we have, you know, God gave us a promise of three score and ten. Some of us, like Brother Lord, we run the race a lot faster. We get to the finish line before some of us. But God's given us that are still here a little bit more time to get it right. That's all. He's given us more time to get it right. But I want to encourage you with some words from the book of John. John, the, the ninth chapter. And if you look at verse 4, verse 4, this is what it says I must work. I must work. I must work the works of him, of him who sent me. Who sent me. While it is day, while it is day, the night, the night is coming mm -hmm. when no one can work. Jesus said, "I must work the works of Him that sent me." God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God sent not His Son, Jesus. That's what He's talking about into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus said, I must work the works that he was sent here for. Jesus was sent here to die on the cross for your sins and mine. He was sent here to show us how to love, to show us how to live, to show us how to give, and to forgive. He was sent here to show us how to be compassionate and kind to one another. Jesus was sent here as our perfect example on how to live life. And if I may say it, but the Lord had it down pretty pat. 
Yes, sir. Now, Brother Lloyd is in better shape than we are now. Yes, He's in better shape because we still got to deal with some of the woes of this world. The scripture says, I must work the works of him that sent me. Because when night cometh, when night cometh, no man can work. In some scriptures, night means evil or night means other things than what we want to talk about today. Death is a unknown thing that we fear because of the fact that we've never been there and experienced it. But here Jesus is telling us that we too have a work to do. Just like Brother Lloyd. And those of us that are still here, we are still working. We're still working of trying to find the purpose that he has gave us or given us to work on. And when we find that purpose, we, we should get that purpose and work on that purpose. Yeah. Whatever of the ministry may be in the church, there's always some work to do. Come on. But the most important thing is first, first you got to get into the body, get into the family in order to do the work that you need to do. Yeah. And, 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 and the only way you can do that is to hear the truth. That is hear the gospel, how Jesus died, how he was buried, and how he was raised on the third day. Hear, believe, repent, and confess. Hear it, believe what you hear, and repent of all your sins. First uh, John 1 and 9 says, If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins. And not only that, he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. God has given us more time to get our house in order. And if or we don't get our house in order, we're going to be found on the short end of things. Amen. You know, when, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, having favor with God, it's always good to be on God's best side. Uh -huh. you, you know, God has two sides. Amen. The good side, and he has a side that's called wrath. The wrath of God is not good. Amen. The wrath of God. If you don't Believe me, look around and see what's happening to us now. All of us sit up here wearing masks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, that's a part of God's wrath. That's a part of God's wrath right there. You must work the work while it is yet day. Because when night cometh, in other words, when death comes, you can't fulfill that purpose that you was put here for. And let me, let me remind you, church, friends and neighbors, that as sure as the sun rises in the east and it makes its way over the heavens, midway, midday, and goes and sets in the west, as sure as the sun rises and sets, we're going to die. This body was not made to be here forever. So when we look at our daily bread and each day God sends our way the fresh brand new blessing that we receive we ought to be thinking about how we're going to please God today when we open our eyes and when he shakes and wakes us every day we ought to open our eyes and say thank you Lord let's see what I can do for my Lord today and not what we can what he can do for us see some folks come to church for different reasons and they they're there because of what God can do for them but what can you do for him in his kingdom? Somebody mentioned that the seed has been planted. But the Lord planted some seeds too. I'm not just talking about family seeds. That's good. That's what he's supposed to do. But I'm talking about seeds of the kingdom. He had the word. And if you would give him a chance, he would give you the word. And in the process, he would plant the seed. And when he planted the seed, uh, we can see, and we know that he has planted the seed because we see some, some uh, results of the seed. We have one or two right here today. When you plant the seed, you have fruits from what has been planted. I want my two brothers just raise your hand and just, just let us see what, what 
what God has done. Yeah, those two brothers right there. Yes, sir. They are fruits from what Brother Lord has planted. Yes, and, and, see, and there are others that are not here today that Brother Lord planted the seed. Yes, and, that was, and see, we, we all have to have some fruits in our lives to prove that we are here for a purpose. Yes, that we are worthy for God's uh, crown that he's going to give us. Yes. Brother Lord had uh, some fruits for him because it's naturally. But, but later, you know, as it's been said, joy will come. But you have to have this relationship with God in order to truly know him. Yeah. Now, most of us know of him, but we don't know him. I said most of us know, we've heard of God, we've heard of his mercy and his blessing, but we don't really know him. To know him is to love him, and when you love him, you will obey him. We need to know him. Brother Lord knew him. Because Brother Lord, as I can say again and again, he did what he was supposed to do. Brother Lord did what he knew to do. And in doing so, there was fruit. He must work the work. We must work the work that we have assigned, that have been assigned to before night comes. But the Lord knew that time was near. But my sister or brother, neither one of you know when your time is near. We're here today, gone today. We're here today, gone today. We're here today, gone today. Right here, right now. The next few minutes, we don't know. That's why we must work, we must get busy and work the work. That is, get the relationship with God that you need in order to be in favor with him when that time comes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, when, when you have an accident, it's good to have the insurance all alone. So, 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 so when the accident happens, you, you say, you know that you're covered. Amen. You know that you're covered. Yeah. Now, that mask that you have on covers, yeah. covers you. And see, right now, you don't have to worry about whether someone is smiling or frowning because that mask covers you. You don't worry about that. That's what the mask does. It covers you. But let me tell you that Jesus covers you too. His blood, his blood covers you. He, his blood will wash away all of your sins. Just like that mask has covered you. As all you have to do is believe and trust in him. And he'll cover you. The song says again, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. See, a mask, a mask, it covers the pain, the hurt, the sorrow, and everything that we go through in this life. Yeah, yeah. That's what mask does. You know, while Jesus was on the cross, they offered him vinegar and gall to, to mask the pain to kill the pain but now we use Tylenol 10 and Vicodin to mask the pain see we may wear the mask but the pain is still there the pain is still there it's gonna be there tomorrow morning. tomorrow tomorrow morning it's gonna be there so as time goes on family it may be, a, get a, may be a little bit easier to bear as time goes on. But remember, if you have a relationship with God, it'll get sweeter as the day go by. Let me, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story that's found in 2 King, the 20th chapter, about King uh, Hezekiah. King Hezekiah uh, had a message brought to him one, one day, and the messenger said, this evening you will surely die. Yeah. King Hezekiah had been sick on his bed. He was sick unto death. And when he got the news, he just cried and wept. He cried and wept. And then he turned his face to the wall. And he prayed. He prayed. He said, Lord, you know. Lord, you know how I live. You know how I walked. Yeah. Lord, you know I've been upright and obeyed your statutes. Lord, you know. And let me tell you, 
family, friends, mm -hmm. God knows all of your goings. He knows all of your ups and downs. He knows. Mm -hmm. And there's a song for that. Because of the fact that he knows what you need. He knows the pain you bear. Yeah. And the song says, someday there'll be no more pain. Yeah. No more suffering. No more trials and tribulations. There'll be no more this. No more that. No more bills. No more pills. No more whatever it is that you're going through in this life. Because if you have a relationship with God, you don't have to worry about all these meaningless things in life. We've never been this way before, Vicky. We've never been this way before. But some glad morning when this life is over. Yes. Some glad morning. It may be noon. It may be night. But when this life is over, I hope to fly away. Shouldn't that be your greatest wish? To fly away home with him? To be at rest? See, Brother Lord is resting, as they say, resting easy. Yes. Easy. Uh, unto man wants to die. Just wants to die. And after this, the judgment. But you see, when King Hezekiah was crying to the Lord, he had favor with God. Because the, the Lord heard his cry. Heard his prayer. Come on, preacher. And he sent the messenger back to tell King Hezekiah. He says, I've heard your cry. Yes, yes. And just for that, I thought about it. I said, I'm going to give you 15 more years. Yes. Now, Brother Lord wasn't King Hezekiah, but let me tell you something about prayer. Prayer does change things. Yes. Prayer gives us what we need. And see, let me tell you that our Father in heaven knows what's best. He has never made a mistake. Father in heaven knows what we need, what, what we are, and what we're all about. And when we have finished our course, he'll say, come on home. But first, you have to get in position to where you can have favor with him. And we all need favor. His grace and mercy brought us this far. Yes. And all we have to do is continue to rely on him. Yes. And his grace and mercy will see us through. I got one more verse I want to give you, then I'm going to let you go. In the book of 2 Chronicles, the chapter 7, verse 14, this is what it says. It says, if, the word if, it's not a positive thing. And you want to be assured that you are saved before you close your eyes in death. Because night is coming. Night is coming to all of us. The scripture says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. And that's what we have to learn to do. Humble ourselves. Shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. You got to have favor with God. You got to seek him. Yes, seek him while you're yet on this yes. side of life. See, when night comes, you can't seek him. It's oh. too late then. And night is coming. And you know, sometimes night comes fast. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes it seems like the day is so long. You have them summer days. Yes, night is coming. But the scripture says, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Oh, there's a lot of turning to be going on here. We got to turn. I saw a sign the other day that said, turn or burn. We need to turn from our wicked ways. We know, you know if you're not living right. You know if you're not living according to God's will. You know right from wrong. He says, turn from your wicked ways. And he said, then, and only then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. And we'll heal the land. I need for you to think about the present situation that we have now with this virus. Because man has strayed so far from God that here we are now being chastised by God. He makes us 
us going to our homes, prisoner in our homes, where we can't enjoy life like we used to. Can't go out to have dinner with our family like we used to. Can't go to the movies like we used to. Can't go on vacation like we used to. He's trying to tell us something. We need to get right with God. There's a song for that. But the Lord would say, get right church and let's go home. Get right people and let's go home. You know, the song of life would tell us those things over and over again. But most of us listen just for the beat of the song. But we listen, listen for the song, the words it says. Because it tells us something all the time. Family, friends, if you wandered far away from God, the song says, now's the time. You can come home. You can come home. Now is the time. And if you're not a member of the Lord's church right now, you need to become a part of this great family. Amen. A family where you can come and have a little talk with Jesus. Yes. And that little talk, the song says, makes it right. Amen. And it doesn't need a lot, just a little talk. And when we learn to appreciate God for what he has done for us, uh, right now is the time for us to show him be humble and walk in his way. Mm, there's a song for that. And it says, walk this way. Talk this way. You got to get into his way and not your way. The Bible says, yes, there's a way that seems right unto man. But the ways thereof is death and destruction. That's not the way you want to go. The way of destruction. The narrow way and the wide way. Yeah. Everybody likes to go down broad way. Yeah. That's the broad way. But let's do it God's way. Yeah. Church, I want to extend the invitation at this time. To hear what you need to hear. God loves us all. Amen. Because we are the creature that he created. And he's the creator. And he wants to give every one of us a chance to be saved. That's why God sent his son Jesus to give us a chance. Amen. You come by hearing the word, believing what you heard, confessing your sins. And just simply saying that when you, when you, when you confess your sins, you, you turn away from the life that you're living, the things that you are doing contrary to God's will. You repent. That's a change in your life. Confess that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. And then go down to the watery grave of baptism. And then there, he will cover you, wash all your sins away. Yes, and that's when you're well on your way in seeing God's face in peace. With that, I want to leave you with the fact that if you have favor with God, when that time comes, we can all be ready to answer that call. Amen. You know, many times when our phone rang and we look at the caller ID. Well. And if we don't want to talk to that creditor, come on. We don't talk to him. See there? <laughs> Somebody don't want to talk to him. See now, hey, I, I didn't I, I didn't plan that. See, that's God telling you. When he calls you, you're gonna have to answer. But see, now you, you can turn that phone off. You don't have to answer that call. You don't have to answer that call. But there's one call that he, you're going to get, you're going to have to answer. With that being said, when the Savior calls, I will answer. When he calls for me, I will give. When the Savior calls, I will am and I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Oh, I'll be somewhere. Yes, I'll be somewhere. Oh, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Oh, I'll be somewhere.
Yes, I'll be somewhere. Oh, I'll be somewhere. Oh, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Now, if my heart is right when he calls, if my heart is right, I will hear him. And if my heart is right when he calls, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Oh, I'll be somewhere. Yes, I'll be somewhere. Oh, I'll be somewhere listening my name. Oh, I'll be somewhere. Yes, I'll be somewhere. Oh, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Now if my robe is white when he calls Oh if my robe is white I will hear uh, If my robe is white when he calls I'll be somewhere listening for my name I'll be somewhere This time we want to thank uh, all those who have took time out to participate in this service. On behalf of uh, the Church of Christ, Chicago Heights Church of Christ, uh, Vicki and the rest of the family, if there's anything else we can do, please let us know. Uh, at this time, we're going to have a final review. Now, this is very important. Please, either after you follow the directions of the morticians, either go back to your seat or out the door. We have already over the number of people we are supposed to have in the building in the first place. So please, either back to your seat or to the door. Second thing, when we leave here, please, if you're going to the cemetery, please make sure you get one of the stickers from uh, the directors or the morticians and put it on the driver's uh, passenger side of your windows in the front. If you park on the side, you're going to have to go around the block line up on Scott Street because we are going this way to Lincoln Highway to head towards the cemetery. Paul Barrows, uh, please meet at the back and my morticians will tell you what to do from now. At this time, uh, Brother Lemons, I believe, uh, is going to come and lead us some songs, I guess, or uh, Brother Miles, but the morticians, please follow that. Morning. When this life is over, oh, I, I'll fly away. Oh, I'm going to a home on God's celestial shore. Oh, I fly away. I'll fly away And you know that I I'll fly away Oh, Lord, Lord, I Lord, I'm gonna fly away In the 
morning, Lord, and when I a hallelujah by and oh, I'll, I'll fly away. Will and just a few more weary. With joy shall Lord, and I'll fly away. I'll fly away. We'll sing hallelujah yeah. by and by. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to fly away. Lord, and you know that I'll fly away. I'll fly away. We'll sing hallelujah by and by. Jesus, my heavenly King, loves me, I know, praises to him I sing, onward I go, oh so closely to our cling, onward still flows, and I love my Savior too, oh you know that I love my Savior, and He loves me too. Oh, I know I, I'll seek His faith. I'll do it in everything that I do. Oh, you know that I He loved this Savior, He loved me too. Oh, I, I'll seek His faith. I know is in everything I do. my friend lean on his arm Lord and raptures will never end nothing alarm sweet voices will sweetly charm under his charm oh I love my savior too Savior, He loves me too. He loves you, Lord, and I seek His favor in everything I do. My 
not to temptation for you name is sin Lord and he victory will end there are some Lord fight men fully on word ever to I know that he carry Shine, evil companion, battling with Lord and God, holding her red. Oh, and don't take it in vain. Thoughtful and unborn, kind hearted, Lord, just look ever to Jesus. I know that He will carry you through. And to him that will come, oh God, Lord, and through we shall come. Although there are times that we're all often cast. Lord, but he was our Savior. Oh, no, 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 you just look ever to Jesus. I know that he Yes, I Savior to her. Lord, he will Oh, Jesus, he Yeah, yeah Lord, he will Jesus will Lord, he Yeah, yeah Able I know Yeah, he to G I know that he Now unto him who was able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless on that great getting up morning. To the God of heaven we commend this, his precious soul, back to him, 
And may God continue to bless this family and hold them in the comfort of his dear arms. May the Lord watch over me and thee while we're absent one from another. God bless you.